My name's Will Russell and I'm one of the sergeants on the BTP drone team. Up here in Gulf is the BTP response to the request from Network Rail and our other railway stakeholders to support them during the engineering works that are taking place on the Brighton Main Line. The railway is going to be shut to passenger services for the duration of the engineering works and as such there's going to be an increased risk of theft of equipment that's being used on the line. Uh, there's an increased risk of people trespassing because they think that passenger trains aren't running but in fact there's actually going to be engineering trains still running quite regularly up and down the line. So there's a, a concern for the safety of people that think they might trespass because the railway is inherently a dangerous place. There's also the risk of uh, increased graffiti and uh, just a, a general way of us supporting our stakeholders to make sure that they can deliver the engineering works on schedule uh, safely and efficiently. So drones are really useful to us during this operation because it's a way of us checking the track in a much more safer and efficient way of being able to, to get a look up and down the, the areas of track that we're interested in without having to send police officers and members of Network Rail line side in order to have a look. We uh, have been using drones for uh, the best part of a year now in a trial funded by Network Rail where we're placing drones with some of our BTP disruption teams geographically located around the southeast. Uh, their focus is on railway disruption. We do a lot of operations at night where we're looking at graffiti hotspots. That's where thermal really comes into its own. We found that to be really useful. We've also found that incident response is really useful as well. With the rapid deployment of the Mavic 2 Enterprise, they can turn up on blue lights to a report of a trespass. Uh, they can have the drone up uh, relatively quickly after they've completed all of their safety checks and risk assessment. The operation's been really successful. Uh, the use of drones has been great. We've been able to do lots of pre-planned operations and taskings. Uh, we've been focusing on areas of the railway that are the greatest concern. For example, the Ouse Valley Viaduct, where there's an increased risk of persons trespassing because they think that the railway's shut. In fact, it's actually not.